Alright, who do we have? Hero Sword? Oh, oh alright. What is it, Black Flame? Alright, never mind then. Oh, it is. I want to say thank you to everybody watching. It's been a it's been a crazy like two months. I know we ju I just hit uh, fifteen thousand and was like celebrating that. I'm already at fifteen thousand six hundred, which is it's crazy. And the Discord too. The Discord popped off massively. We're almost at a thousand members. We got like two hundred in the past three ish days, which is which is dope. I love seeing the Discord active. I'm close to my goals for December. It's, it's going to be tight. It's going to be really close. Because I wanted to get a thousand members in the Discord, which we're probably going to be able to do. I wanted to get 500 followers for my Instagram, where I kind of post like my IRL shit. And then I wanted 17,000 subs. So, like, it's possible. I'm just going to have to really, like, grind it out. So I hope y'all continue to watch, and you you know come along for the ride. It's uh, dude, it's been so cool to see, like just the channel growing and everything this quickly. But it gets a little, I don't know. I get this thing in my head where, like, I'm just it's never good enough, you know. Nothing is ever good enough. I've never done enough. Like I hit 15,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Like. That's a massive milestone. That's more subs like most channels on YouTube. I think the statistics like less than ninety five percent or like ninety six percent ever even get a thousand subs. So like this is a crazy milestone. I'm like a one percent of YouTube creators, and all I'm thinking is like, all right, well, what's you know what's next? What's the next goal? What's the next milestone? And ne I never feel like I've done enough, or that what I have done is good enough. You know, I'm always chasing that next thing and that f it's so bad for my mental health but it's just i can't help it i don't know if it's just like how i grew up or what it's in life too like i never i'm not a very um like jealous person i've never been really that concerned with what other people have and what i don't have but at the same time you know i, I see other people in my life like one of my good good friends from high school just had a kid a lot of my friends have been married a lot of them now are like talking about like marrying their long-term girlfriends like from college and it's like i don't know yeah it, it's everybody's on their own path i know that but then i look at my life and i guess i'm just i'm not where i wanted to be for myself you know like not comparing to other people comparing to myself like I wanted more I thought I would have accomplished more with my life by now even though I've pretty much I've done I feel like I've done a lot people tell me that I'm I've done a lot or that I'm in a good position you know I got my education I have a good uh, good job good friends you know I left my hometown I'm living in a new city so I'm like growing and being exposed to new things oh my god I can't see this guy but I still I still like I don't know. I don't... I don't know. It's one of those things, I guess, where you have to just come to terms that, like... You know, you're, you're not gonna get everything you wanted in life. And, uh... You know, I'm not gonna be, like, the fucking superhero movie star. It's just not realistic. Oh, good game. But it's definitely frustrating. I should be able to take, like, such pride in this achievement, because I've done such a great thing. You're so garbage. Oh. Cheers to you, man. But I'm like, God, I don't know. Or I'm going to graduate college. Eh. Like, oh, well, like, tons of other people have graduated college. It doesn't really mean anything. I got promoted at my job. Oh, well, somebody else had this position before, or it's not a big deal. I'm an ambassador for my company to my college, so I do, like, job fairs and stuff. Which was very selective. Like 600 people tried to apply for it and I'm one of like 11 ambassadors. And I'm just like, oh, well, other people got it. Or, well, it's not that big of a deal. I don't do anything that crazy, you know? I don't know how to like escape that uh, mental trap. It's so... Uh... God, it's so bad for my mental health. 
I can never just be happy with uh, with my own achievements. But that's one thing I'm trying to work on, you know. Gross. You're a uh, low requirement metal. You're, you're like you. You're playing the cancer meta. Don't complain about me. Yeah. But I think my goals for 2024 are going to be. I'm, I'm shooting big, man. I want 100,000 subscribers. I don't know how we're going to get there, but I trust the process. I trust myself. I trust my abilities. You guys have been great to me thus far. I think I got it. A lot of my content, like, I, I admit, some of my content's pretty low quality. Like, there's not really any editing. I reuse thumbnails a lot. But the driving force between a lot of people... Oh, I just froze. The driving force in a lot of people watching my content is me, like my personality, which makes me confident that I'll be able to transition like into a different genre or a different game, and that I'll be able to maintain a lot of my viewers. Why is this guy saying my build's gross? This is this build is terrible. Like this is awful to fight. Dude, what are his cooldowns? Does he just not have cooldowns on his mantras? Holy shit! Fucking blessed on everything, it seems like. Good game. Like, there's just never-ending, uh... Mantras. That is, uh... That's interesting. Ew. I'm playing pretty bad today. I kind of get like, I gotta get warmed up or something. I'm getting dropped by everybody, bro. I guess it is what it is. Another thing that I'm interested for is I think I'm gonna move this summer. Not permanently. I think I'm gonna try and get a job in like a city I've never been in. And then just like, see if they have like a housing stipend or something. I think that'd be good. Like a few months, like a new city, new environment. Try and learn something, grow some more. I definitely want to get out there more. I've become uh, less social in the last year, which is <laughs> a fucking deep woken moment. I still go out quite a lot, but it's only with like my friends that I already know. Like I'm not making new friends. Like I used to just be able to go out and be friends with anybody. I just start talking to anybody. Now, now not so much. I kind of feel a little awkward when I go out, you know. I'm away from my friends, and it's like, ooh, like, uh, I don't really know what to talk to these people about. So I want to sort of force myself to be in a new environment, a uh, new position where I have to just put myself out there. And I think that's really helpful. I think, uh, I think that'd be good for anybody who's looking to, like, grow as a person. Like, learning how to talk to anybody is so, it's such a valuable skill. Because you never know. You never know who you're going to meet. Like, you could come up to somebody uh, at work or at the bar or just, like, out in an event and expect nothing of it. You like just be making small talk or talking about, the, you know, what you guys are doing. And you could end up, like, making a lifelong friend. You could have a lot in common with them. That's happened to me more than once now. Oh, my God. This guy got dropped. 300 ping. Oh. That'll do it. But I think that'll be... That'd be good for me. I have this like weird urge to like just drop off the face of the earth. Like not talk to anybody I know ever again. Like move somewhere else and just create a whole new life. It's like a, a quarter life crisis, I guess. This, this desire to be unknown. Like on my mysterious arc and shit. But, eh, at the same time, I don't know. That would kind of... Like, oh my god, like, it's so nice to be alone, like, have your alone time to just relax until you're alone, and then it's fucking terrible. Like, I love to just be alone and, you know, be able to just think and relax. I love it until I'm actually alone for more than, like, 20 minutes, 
And then I'm like lonely and I'm bored. It's uh... You hate to see it, bro. So maybe, maybe dropping off the face of the earth isn't the best idea for me. <laughs> maybe not. Also, can they please make Scrap Singer not fucking piss yellow? I feel like Scrap Singer should just be the default Iron Singer color with like uh, rust particles. Like I guarantee that that texture already like pre-exists as a free uh, model on Roblox. Devs, if you can make that happen, because this looks so ugly. Well, this guy's kind of got it. I want to go hiking too. I wish that there were more hiking trails near me. There's definitely more than there are in my hometown, but I've sort of explored like almost all of the hiking trails out here. So there's nowhere, uh, nowhere new, unless I like. Or there's nowhere new that could be like a day thing. Like there's definitely a lot of trails in the general like like nearby states. But again, yeah, that, that's like a that's a weekend thing. That's not a like start the day, want to get active, go hike some, you know? Which is what I'd like. It's so nice starting your day like out with a good hike. It's out in nature. Ooh, dude, I love I love when it's cold too. I, I love the winter. You take a deep, just deep breath, that cold air. Like, you feel it ripple through your whole body. It, that, that's what feeling alive is like, man. You just feel the energy go all the way through you. It's, it's kind of like when you get an IV at the hospital. And, the um, medicine, or the saline's like a different temperature. And you feel the difference. Dude, I, the couple times I've had to go to the hospital, I thought the, the, like, feeling from IVs or getting medicine was so cool. Except for this one time, they, like, fucked my shit up and they kept, uh, missing. I was so, like, I was so pissed. Because I was in, it was when I, like, broke my arm. I was in so much pain. It was, they had me bent. Literally, my arm was fucking bent out of shape. And they were fumbling around with this fucking IV. Oh my god, wait, I could do a story time about that. I mean, I have before, but nobody, uh, like, it didn't really get as many views because my channel was so much smaller at the time. That's a good story, I can tell y'all. That is a really good story. I keep walking into couch. Am I gonna get put in the storm? Oh! Uh, good game. I'll call it there. I hope y'all have a fantastic week. It's almost Christmas, too. Spend that time with your family, friends. Make it count. Don't spend all day on Deep Woken. Please. Cheers. Peace out.